2022. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta today presided over the 57th Jamhuri Day celebrations at the Nyayo Stadium here in Nairobi. This year's Jamhuri Day was marked under special circumstances with Kenyans reeling from the socio-economic shockwaves of the coronavirus global pandemic. KTN's political affairs reporter Murimi Mwangi begins our broadcast tonight with key highlights of the president's speech. Making his way to the Nyayo National Stadium for the 57th Jamhuri Day celebrations. <laughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta, you would say, was simclonically also wading through a murky patch of his presidency. The eyes of 47 million Kenyans on him, anxious for a word from their commander-in-chief on the way forward over a myriad of issues. Top on their list, the coronavirus global pandemic that has totally disrupted the year 2020. The future of our nation will always have plenty within our borders. And that at all times, Kenya will be a bountiful, fruitful, and fertile nation. But fundamentally, the green band on our flag is an instruction from our founding fathers for each generation to hold and trust the bounties of our nation and leave a just inheritance for our children. The year has been rocked by the COVID-19 domino effect touching on virtually all aspects of life. The education sector is currently dogged by fears of another spike in COVID-19 infections during the upcoming festive season and the anxieties of likely school dropout and early pregnancies. President Kenyatta had orders to the ministries of interior and education. That all children report back to school in January of 2021. That the Ministry of Education shall receive reports from all primary and secondary schools in Kenya, regardless of the system of education they deliver, on the identity and details of any child or children who have not reported back to school. Our forefathers confronted the might of colonialists. We too will overcome this challenge because we believe in your leadership. The president proceeded to Nyo Stadium had pressed to give a progress report on actualization of the Big Four agenda, which he unveiled during similar celebrations in 2017. Then he had promised an economic master plan, prioritizing manufacturing, food security, affordable housing, and universal health coverage. Budgetary constraints were sent by massive revenue shortfalls, hitting 40 billion shillings during this year ravaged by the COVID-19 pandemic, have raised serious doubts on the achievability of the Big Four, which Kenyatta has accorded budgetary prioritization over the past three years. The Big Four builds on the intentions of previous administrations. It singles out, it singles out the intents that has run through our history and that are relevant today. It focuses on four intents of our liberation struggle and the aspirations of our founding fathers. And as the president used the Jamuhuri celebration podium to take stock of his accomplishments during the challenging year, the spotlight now turns to his handlers to prepare for the challenges of the coming year 2021. Murami Mwang, KTN News at the Nyeo National Stadium in Nairobi. President Uhuru Kenyatta has been quiet on the health crisis that has seen nurses go on 